Hello and welcome to Shark Jet Som Skid Vis. In this video, I'm going to show you how to troubleshoot um, and basically replace your log, your console logs, while you're wearing your headset because you can't see the screen when you're on a headset. And uh, yeah, so let's get to that. But first, make sure to like and subscribe so I can keep making these videos. Now, without any further ado, let's get to it. All right, so here we are in Unity 2021 LTS, and uh, the only thing I have installed is VRIF. The link to that is in the descriptions if you're not already using it. Um, and I've set up a little scene here where I have uh, the VRIF rig, and then there's this little tiny red cube, which is grabbable. And there's this blue cube, which is a trigger. It's set up as a trigger. Um, and basically I put this little script on it. That is how we would probably do it nowadays, right? You, you check to see if we're in the trigger and then we just debug log a message so that we know that it worked. That works great 90% of the time when you're just troubleshooting here. But, um, when you've deployed your application and there's an error or you want to check for something, you probably want something that's not going to output to the console. But let's go ahead and just show this off real quick just so that uh, I can show you what I'm talking about. So I'm going to pop on my headset and then I'm going to grab the red cube and throw it into the blue box and we should see a message on the console. All right, so there's the blue box. There's the red box. Just going to bring that over here and throw it. And you can see, hopefully, yes that once the box entered the the red box entered the blue box you have a message that says you have entered the trigger and like i said that's great for while you're debugging but uh or, or coding but when your product is out there and if there's an error or something um and you want to be able to see those errors that's where this thing comes in handy so what i'm talking about right now is a website called bugsnag.com I actually use this all the time for my nine to five and uh, they support unity so why not use it there too they have a free tier um, that unless you're getting you know a crap load of error messages going through you're not gonna have to worry about uh, signing up but I would if I could so you just go ahead and just create a free account um, and then you go in and create a new project um, and you've got a bunch of different options here for a project. I'm just going to pick console. And as you can see right there, Unity is listed. So it's Unreal Engine and Nintendo Switch. So I'm going to pick Unity and I'll tell it the name of my app. I'm just going to call this test and delete and continue. Okay, so you want to make sure to copy this URL. You don't want to click it. You want to just copy it and then go back into unity and go to the package manager and up at the top over here you see this little plus symbol you can click on that and you'll see add package from git url so you click on that and there's this little box that pops up you can just paste the url into that and hit the add button and then it will go to github and pull that package All right, there it is. And so um, we can just close this. It's got the green check mark. Um, you should have a new window up here that says bug snag configuration. If you click on that, you will be prompted to put in your API key. So if you go back to that site, you'll see they give you a, uh, they give you the directions to do that. Go to window bug snag settings and copy this API key and paste it into this box. And that's all you have to do there. And then we go back into our code and instead of debug.log, we can say bug snag dot notify. And it takes a bunch of different uh, parameters that you can provide it. Um, in our example, I just want to provide it a string. So I'm just going to provide it uh, three strings is apparently what it's looking for. So I'm just going to say uh, triggered for the first one. And then for the second one, I will say you have 
entered, that's not how you spell entered, entered a trigger. And then for the third one, uh, nothing here. All right, so there's actually something there, but so now um, when I put on the headset and do this whole thing again, um, on bug snag, we should see a new message. All right, so here we are. I'm just gonna grab that and throw it. Okay, and take off the headset. Okay, so now if we go to bug snag and go to our inbox, you'll see here there's a new message that's called triggered, right? That's the first thing I passed to it. Uh, this nothing here was the last thing that I passed to it, which is the uh, what they're, they're calling the stack trace. And then, of course, the third thing is you have entered a trigger. So every time I run this, it will add a new message to this inbox and tell you when it happened. And it gives you a lot of information because um, it knows that we're on Android. So it'll tell you uh, the, the project name, uh, anything it can give you about the device, like the screen size and all that stuff. It gives you a lot of information. Um, and you can of course populate this. This is made for catching errors. So you can actually, you know, if you were going to have some code and you wanted to see if an error was going to happen, let me stop this from running. So say for instance, uh, you were going to do some transaction and you wanted to make sure you caught an error so we can do a try catch, right? Um, and so what a, a try catch does, it's gonna try to do what's in here you know, uh, do the thing, right? So here you would you would do um, maybe an in-app purchase or some interesting algorithm that you're trying to do or just anything normal really that you're trying to track if there's an error on it. Um, and then instead of just uh, throwing an error, you can catch it uh, by using bug snag notify and it also takes errors as parameters, right? So this is perfect. You, you can just pass it this E. Um, you can pass it uh, the severity or if you wanted to pass a string. So um, like if you just wanted to be notified here, like, you know, somebody did an in-app purchase and didn't work or if it's a severe error, um, whatever you want. Or you could just say where in the code it is happening. This is a on trigger for the box it's cute. right uh, it's up to you to determine what the error message is it's gonna send it to bug snag with the whole error so that you can actually see like what line it, it happened on and what the actual error message was things like that um, and it's it's really good. It's a good um, way to put console logs uh, on a project that you've shipped to something to someone else. Like maybe your friends are trying your program out, and you want to know if there's uh, any errors or anything like that while they're running it. And there you have it, quick and easy as usual. If you found this video helpful, please make sure to like and subscribe so I can keep making them. That's it. Until next time, I'm still Skidvis. Peace out.